struggles that you faced when you were doing your business? Sorry? What were the most... Not just challenging, yeah, challenging, and then, but then some of the aspects that you see that you don't think is that important, but then it's actually very important. So, for example, certificate is one of them. Like, for mm -hmm. me, I don't even know you need a certificate to, I don't know, to manufacture and sell the power bank. Uh, are there any things that you thought that would be easy and then you realize actually you need, this is a lot of work? Yeah, I mean, certainly, um, okay, because, you know, back then when I start selling this um, product, okay, I firstly, I registered a company in Singapore, okay, so, of course, registering is an easy part, the hard part comes when I have to do my um, copy and loss, you know, balance sheet and stuff like that, because it's, it's, it's really a whole new world to me, this mm. tax, taxing, you know, on how to, how to do my expenditure for my business and how to how to go about um, legally to to file my taxes. Mm. So all of these aren't taught in school, I'll say. Okay, maybe it taught in accounting, but to apply this accounting principle in a real life scenario is something that is um a steep learning curve for me. Okay. Mm. Because I I because uh, I do not have friends or maybe close family members they are doing doing it so i have to do a lot of um self research and seeing how to go about doing it of course you know it gets smoother as as the as the month goes by as i found multiple taxes so i would say that this is one of the hindrances you know besides the production of my device okay the taxation part is one of the big bottleneck i would say in my business i would think it's unexpected uh, because maybe you're just doing your business just minding your own thing mm -hmm. and then suddenly you have to do but were there any moments where maybe the 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 tax agency come and knock on your door and say you you need to pay your taxes was it like that or is it well how when do you realize you need to follow you make a tax invoice or income statement to the to the agency Okay, um, firstly, when you register with your business, you know, all the business will have a UEN, a unique identification numbers to it. Mm. Okay, so all these numbers will be tagged along to IRAS. Mm. Okay, so IRAS, every um, accounting period, before the accounting period, they will send you a text message saying, please remember to file your tax before this stipulated date. If not, you'll get fined. Okay. So something along the line. So it's very clear as cut, you know, you have to file during this accounting period. So accounting period is usually before April. So by March end, you have to finish everything and submit by April. Mm. Okay. So after April, the auditing people or auditing firm will actually audit your report. Okay. Mm. But of course, the first year of the establishment of Renetics, my business, is not required to file any tax okay because it's just the first year of operating business mm. but for second year onwards i have to pay attention with my tax mm -hmm. so this is where it comes tricky you know? i have to see mm. all the expenses i have to record down whatever i spend on and whatever that i use to uh, use the expenditure to, to to buy on and the total net profit that i earn so all of this i have to pay attention an archive in a folder so the best practice is of five years practice five to ten years so you have imagine you have to keep all this record in the archive folder for five years to ten years yeah. is it you said so the auditing team will actually look up for any possible maybe mistakes uh, yeah. yeah mistakes that you have made so it's good to have all this archive you know in order to protect yourself legally and from your business Mm, okay. So it's something, something very new to me. You know, I, 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 I wouldn't expect myself you know, to be doing all this. Uh. So it was quite, it was quite unexpected to me, you know, you know, because back then I was just thinking, just buy and sell, you know, what's so hard. Yeah. Speaking of that, would it, would it be possible if you didn't start? You, let's say you did what you did, but then you didn't make, 
you did register your company with uh is it Acras? Uh, uh, oh yeah, Acras. What 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 what's Acras again? Association is it or something? Yeah, yeah. Acra is like a basically, you know, every business in Singapore when they register their business, they have to go through this Acra. Hmm. It's a okay. business registration so, platform. Hmm. Okay. Would it be possible if you didn't register your business while you still did what you did? Is it possible? Um, I would say it's not legal. <laughs> what, why? Because, why? 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 You tell me. I'm dumb, so I'm I'm not sure of all this. Okay, because you are constantly earning money, profit, but you are not um reporting your profit. So okay, let's say you are. Can you report as your own? I don't know selling because isn't it the same as i don't know if it's the same uh, like carousel you know let's say you buy a lot of cheap stuff then you sell it to the point you earn hundred thousand dollar per month i don't know if it's possible but okay maybe ten thousand per month a lot more easier ten thousand okay, you have month. to identify you know um how is this income source consist consistent or not let's say if it's okay so for example if your carousel business lasts more than three months so for a year uh, consistently you are earning 100k per month by buying and selling okay you have to file this okay i have to file but do i need to uh, register a business entity no you can record as a self-employed under personal income tax so it's okay. not yeah so it's not um necessary to open up a business and um to call it a branding or, or a company name so you have to report as a source of income as a self-employed to 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 file this tax law because you are earning a consistent income and you have income every month so let's say if you have big amount of income coming every month to your bank then of course you know the bank will suspect something is uh, up la. like eh, why your record you you don't have any job but you are earning like this consistent stream of income is coming into your bank of course they will suspect something and um of course at the end of the day you know you are the one that will be suffering la, you know because you will be questioned hmm. Hmm. So, take me through the the idea then. So you said it would be illegal if you if you didn't you didn't register as a company. Uh. why why is that? Uh? you said because carousel you can you can do it without registering as a company. Just that mm -hmm. you have to uh you have to declare it as your 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 income your your tax income, uh statement. So, so why can't you do it without red? And not register as a business okay because my business is based on a branding name renetics okay. so it's a company entity itself already hmm. unless okay. yeah so and also because i guess um when i have this some um, business structure things are more easier because you are reporting sales under a company name it's more reputable okay because um of course, if, if you are selling a product with a branding itself, without a company, then that's illegal already. Oh, is it? I didn't know. Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's say if you come up with a product, JX, okay? Mm -hmm. For example, JX, and you, you, let's say if you are selling a portable bank, you name it JX, and you distribute it throughout Singapore, and it becomes a very popular brand, but you do not have a company name, okay? You just create out of thin air, you know, JX. Mm -hmm. And if someone wants to, you know, copy your name and legalize it into their own company and they call it JS, so they registered before you and they trademark it. So it will become your law Oh, you mean, okay, it's the name they can sell. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the it's name. That can protect you in the long term. Of course, you can't reap the benefit in the short term because you feel like you'll be a waste of money in the process of trademark trademarking it and um registering registering it for a business but i guess this is the long-term play if you are serious about branding and how your business will operate in the long term 